Okay, this is interesting. So, Rampage Extreme, totally different story compared to P5E3 Premium with the CPU. So now, even 620 failed on that board, and now we are already 645. This is minus 104 at the moment. 650. This should be the record range for W Prime 32. PLL voltage is uh, going all over the place. There's something wrong. It has done it once before, so it's like jumping all over the place. I need to check like what's going on. Okay, almost a record and by the way this is uh, L2 se L2 stepping the uh, all of the top scores are made on G or B2 stepping sorry so this is very interesting And that's the new top score in W Prime 32 with E6300. And uh, it's interesting because uh, Samuel CX or Tapaka tested 1500 pieces of this CPU. And uh, well, I have tested many, but not that many, of course. And I managed to take down one of the top scores. Pretty interesting. Maybe I should change the resolution. Yeah, 16A28, I think the top score is 17078, so yeah, damn awesome, I will go back to the pulse and try to put higher, but look, L2 stepping, who would have thought? Okay, now W prime, 1024. Okay, <clears throat> that is around half a minute improvement over the previous top score made by TAG at 655 uh, FSB. So 655 should be like 4.5 something I guess. So uh, almost half a minute. So. Uh, Previous top score 561.538, so this is like uh, this is like 23 second improvement. He was at 4585, I was at 4644. So uh, pretty awesome if you ask me. Let's see, now I can move on to the single threaded stuff I guess. Twenty point eight is the top score. Twenty point eight three, something like this. Yeah, narrow tops, new top score, I think. Yeah, same frequency roughly, or 3 MHz lower, 
20.83 by tag and this is 20.80 so pretty good let's quickly try the 1m i really don't know what the score was Okay, 11.532. Okay, that's the new top score already with one attempt. Like 60 millisecond gain whatsoever. Okay, so currently I'm running Superpipe 32M. Loop 14, just about to pass. Like minus 135 or 36 on the temperature. Loop 14, loop 14 over there. This is the problem I was saying about. So the PLL voltage is just jumping all over the place. I think it's motherboard uh, like mod issue. I've seen this before. Not many times, of course, but a few times. But so far, it hasn't prevented me from getting these uh, awesome scores. So uh, I'll keep going and uh, we should be getting a very nice 32M top score within a few minutes. But yeah, it's hard to do this. That's why I mostly uh, film a lot of my stuff, just the capture card, because I don't have good setup to hold the camera. But uh, yeah, it's pretty simple anyways. So I just hold the temperature and uh, wait for the score to finish. Well, almost sub uh, 10 minute, 10 second run. I think I can get much better result in a server 2003 because it's now corrupted I need to uh, uh, reinstall it the, the annoying part about server 2003 is that it, it, it gets corrupted very very easily and it happened when I was pushing the CPU to very high so uh, anyways this is the new SuperPi 32M top score with the Core 2 Duo E6300 I never imagined I could be able to do this good with this CPU model because I know Tapaka or Samo CX binned this CPU model the most, I think. 1500 pieces. I think the best CPU is now owned by TAG. And I managed to outperform it. And look, with L2 stepping CPU, when I was looking at the top graphs, every CPU out there in the rankings is a B2 stepping, and this is an L2. Very interesting. This was the best CPU out of 40 pieces I recently tested. So, uh, very lucky I guess, but it's still, of course, not able to do the validation. The validation uh, definitely not gonna happen. The CPU locks at 4, I mean 675 
uh, FSP-ish, like between 675 and 680. But yeah, doesn't matter. And now we actually hang, so hold on a bit, let's uh, see what happens next. Okay, so overall I'm very happy as I never expected to do this good with the Core 2 Duo E6300 because it's one of the toughest 775 CPUs because, the, because of the huge amount of bidding some of the top guys in the overclocking scene, in the legacy overclocking scene I mean, have been doing with the CPU model. But anyways, I managed to get the top score in every single important benchmark except the CPU-Z call frequency validation and it's definitely out of reach with the CPU but anyways like uh, Pi fast I got 20.80 and onwards so better than the previous rank 1 score made by TAG Super Pi 1M I only ran once as you saw on the capture card footage I think the top score was like 11.516 something like this the, top, the previous top score I think it was 11.59 something 32M only ran once because of the operating system uh, getting corrupted so I had to run it in Windows XP and the result was 10 minutes 10.7 seconds I think W Prime 32 a few runs below 17 seconds and uh, was it 20 second improvement on W Prime 1024M and I think if I'm correct it should be the first ever uh, sub 9 minute run on W Prime 1024M with the Core to Duo E6300 if I can count correctly now uh, in my head as I'm just uh, putting things down uh, I tried to run 32M again but for some reason the system is completely unstable and well I really want to check out what's wrong with the uh, uh, PLL because it's, jump because it's jumping all over the place like uh, if I set it, uh, for example, at like 1.56 under load, if I did clear CMOS, it would read at 1.9 uh, directly at boot, and that could be problematic with some 45 nanometer CPUs. So I need to check, like, what's wrong with this one, with the CPU, I mean. But anyway, so uh, for some reason, this CPU didn't want to run on the P5E3 Premium, my best P5E3, I mean. So I need to double check what was going on. I could post like very high FSP and everything but it was completely unstable when I tried to boot into the operating system and well usually if it could boot into the operating system it could run the uh, given benchmarks but something was very unstable with that whole uh, rig so I need to check out like what's going on but anyways this result uh, spree is kind of weird because this is uh, in effect an L2 stepping CPU with fewer amount of capacitors on the backside of the CPU compared to the more common B2 stepping. When I was checking at the leaderboards on hardwarebot.org, all of the top scores have always been on the B2 stepping, so it's kind of weird for an L2 stepping CPU to be this good. And at least I managed to beat the CPU by Tapaka Samo CX, which was the best out of 1500 pieces. So that's kind of lucky, I guess, because I didn't have to bin that many. Well, it continues if I want to try to find a 700 FSP CPU. I have no idea how many CPUs that Chinese guy binned who did the 705 FSP, close to 5 GHz on the 6300. But yeah, that will be for the next time. So let's see, let's see if I can find a better chip. But at the moment, these are my best results. So hopefully you like to see them very interesting uh, session overall so uh, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel maybe check out my patreon page as well if you want to support my work and yeah thanks for watching one of our videos once again and i will see you on the next one